I'm glad that I was older. I am happy that I was 28, 29 years old because it was gigantic. It was, I don't know what it was. People wanted my socks without taking off my shoes. You know, it was scary. It was, and here's the thing. This is what I learned from stardom. You have got to see it as a mirage. You cannot believe you are more than you are. I didn't grow. I was still short. My nose was still the same size. I couldn't wear an Edwardian suit. You can't get caught up in that because it is instant destruction. If you think you are more than you are, if you believe your press, if you start to believe that you're the center of the world. So when you can then keep that kind of in some kind of check, it's really objectively fun to look at what's happening and where you're going and who you're meeting and who's talking to you and who's saying, I like you. And uh, the uh, sanitation engineers in New York stopped me and, uh, at two in the morning to sign their truck and fire trucks would stop. And the police would stop me at a red light and say, where are you going? And uh, put me in their, uh, their car and take me where I had to go. And women came out of Park Avenue um, you know, uh, their buildings and say, oh my God, I watch you. And in Harlem, they said, oh my God, I watch you. And on Indian reservations, the Hopi Nation uh, in um, Arizona said, we watch you by attaching our television to our car battery. We watch you. And uh, in 126 countries, we watch you. And oh, the Smithsonian wants your jacket as part of their permanent collection. Before I met my wife, girls knocking on your door at three in the morning saying, am I disturbing you? I said, no, actually, I was writing out the Magna Carta from memory. And I, it's time now to take a break. Wow. I mean, it just, and you're making a living and you're doing what you dreamed of doing. You're, you're acting and this is happening. We went down, the four boys, uh, Anson, Donnie, Ronnie, and Henry, went down to Dallas, Texas. And we appeared at a mall. 25,000 people separated us from the car. And it was the very first time and one of the only times I ever used the character off the soundstage. Soundstage 19 on Paramount Lot is where we shot the show. And I looked at the group and I said, all right, look, there are a lot of you. There are four of us. You're going to separate like the Red Sea. We're going to get to the car. You're not going to touch us. You understand? Somebody said, wow, you are so cool. I went, right. Somebody said, you are so short. I said, fuck you. They went, you are so cool. <laughs> It's also the, the, the only time I ever cursed in character. But hey, it worked. But we got to that car, and we got in that car. Donnie Most and I were in Paramus, New Jersey, and we were chased up a fountain in a mall. Up, we, cried, we, we climbed up over a, uh, 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 you know, a, uh, a waterfall. That was great. We had, uh, it, was a, it was just an amazing, amazing time. It was an amazing time. And remember, it was before, just before AIDS. So there was, it was just a time when you were not worried about, you know, you could possibly die, uh, you know, it, it, it was just unbelievable, unbelievable. It was fun to hear them scream. You wanted them to scream, but you didn't want them to scream too long because it got in the way. 
So we talked to the audience and uh, uh, from, a, from about, uh, from 12 in the afternoon on a shoot day, I would start to get into character and I would only talk like the fonts. And then it, like I would get into makeup and then I would like really act to anybody like the font. And then I came out, you know, when everybody was introduced, they came out, oh, hi, I'm Ron, and nice to see you, going back now, and then I came out as the Fonz. Said hello to the audience, right, good, fine, okay, and went back and did the show. 